Hey YouTube, so for my next series of videos, I want to do a, um, a short series on modifying a Squire vintage modified Mustang to be more suitable for kind of your Nirvana grunge kind of tones. So I managed to score this guitar relatively cheap. It's brand new as well, it's still got the plastic on it and everything. Um, first off, it sounds great out of the box as it is after you give it a simple setup, but there is a lot of complaints that people have about the guitar stock, which I will try to address for you. First of all, I'll start with what I like about the guitar. Um, I really like the neck, 9.5 inch radius, C-shape, jumbo frets. Feels great. Um, it's really comfortable to play, actually. Um, I would have thought it would be a bit too chunky for me, but I actually really like it. So yeah, the neck's really good. Um, secondly, I actually do like the pickups in this, despite being a single coil in the bridge, usually I can't stand that, but um, it sounds really nice actually, and it goes surprisingly well with different pedals, as we'll see when I demo it. The things that I don't like about the guitar, um, obviously the bridge, which is a big cause of concern for most users of this guitar, um, yeah, it just rattles a lot with those with those screws in the saddles, the grub screws. And um, you can lock tight them and fix them like that, but I still just overall feel that the bridge is a bit unstable. So I'm gonna be replacing that with a uh, Staytrem 9.5 inch radius Mustang bridge, which I will show in the next video. Uh, another thing that I'm not too keen on is the uh, tuners actually, which I can't really show you, but um, I mean, they feel a bit cheap, uh, especially if you've played uh, a Japanese or an American made Mustang. They just, they don't feel as solid. Another thing that I don't necessarily hate about this guitar, but um, something that I'm going to be changing in these videos is the bridge pickup. For a single coil, it actually sounds pretty nice and it handles pedals really well. Um, is a bit thin when you use distortion but that's to be expected but as you know I like to use high output humbuckers so I'll be showing you how to install one of them in the next video so the changes that I'm going to be making and showing you how to do in these videos are going to be what I consider to be the most essential changes to play your Nirvana and your all your grunge music um, firstly I'm going to be changing the bridge pickup to a Seymour Duncan Hot Rails because that was the most popular pickup that I used in my Seymour Duncan comparison video so I think it will go nicely in here. Also as I've mentioned I'll be changing the bridge just to get a, a more stable one with the correct radius and all that. I'm not going to be doing a tunematic um, bridge in these videos because I want these modifications to be as straightforward and as simple as they can possibly be, so anybody can really do them. So a Staytrem bridge is, although not the cheapest option, is the easiest option and keeps um, the radius of your guitar correct and all that, so I think it's the best option. Um, I won't be touching the tuners because although they feel a bit cheap, they do work for the most part. Um, and don't, I always believe don't fix what ain't broke, so we'll just keep, keep them in for now. I might do another video down the track about changing them to um, better quality ones, maybe locking ones or something. But at the moment, I just want to do the most basic of mods. So without further ado, let's just get into some sounds that this guitar can make.
So I thought it sounded pretty good in the sound demo actually. I was pleasantly surprised by how well it did with um, distortion despite having single coils but yeah I think it would still be helped by changing to a humbucker so I'll still do that. Another thing I'll mention is that because the guitar is completely stock I'm using the stock strings which I believe are nines and they don't really get the job done for this genre of music I would say. Um, they're workable but just not for me personally because I'm used to playing 11s or 12s and um, you might have noticed that sometimes chords and notes were sounding a bit out of pitch because I'm simply just pressing too hard on the fingerboard. I'm used to um, being able to put more pressure on the strings. So yeah, I'll be changing that and I think I'll get a better sound. So that was my short little overview of the Squire Mustang. I'll be putting the specs for the guitar in the description. I just realized I didn't go over that and I thought it's not really a good idea to go over it's been done many times and I'm sure most of you know the specs of this guitar inside out by now so yeah just check the description for those specs if you're interested um, stay tuned for part two where I'll be doing the modifications and if you like this video if you could click like and subscribe maybe that would be great it really helps the channel keep going and as usual thanks for all the support guys and I'll see you next time